Hey guys, my name is Sumi Dele Awa and welcome to Dear Young Christian. Yesterday we talked about God's characteristics and how he operates and, and so today we're going to dive a little bit more into God's disciplinary side. Now I know y'all probably ought to babysit but for those of you who have, have you ever just gotten a child um, that was never disciplined like you could tell that they always got their way nobody has ever told them no they were very selfish they had no respect for authority and you just pretty much could not wait to give them back um to his mom and dad because now you're like bro i you know i i wasn't ready for all of this i, I say all that to say that god does not want spoiled children he wants his children to be responsible and mature enough to handle the situations that life will throw their way. He needs to teach his children some lessons and mold his children so that when they actually go into the next stage of their life and start to fulfill destiny, they're not completely confused as to what's going on. The Bible says that God has amazing plans for us, but those plans cannot be accomplished if we're spoiled children. We have to learn some things on the way to get to the amazing plans that God has for us. He has to teach us some stuff. Now he has to teach us how to deal with people. He has to teach us how to serve as well as how to lead. He has to teach us how to control our pride now so that when we get to the top, we won't have pride issues. He has to teach us how to have self-control sexually now so that when we get to the top, we won't throw it all away and squander it over a one night stand. He has to teach us how to be cool, calm, and collected now when, when the stakes are still small because when we get to the top and the pressure is hot, we have to know how to keep our cool and remain, remain calm and collected and not be anxious and to pray to him in everything, no matter how big or small it is. In this scripture, it makes it clear that discipline is essential for every Christian. In fact, if you're not being disciplined, you need to question whether you're Christian or not because you, like God, hit, God will always, without a shadow of a doubt, discipline his children. In the scripture, the writer of Hebrew tells us to endure because it's not always going to be easy. The discipline is going to be a, a, a process and it's going to take some time. It's going to take some resilience and you have to be patient with yourself. And you, in that season, you need to learn and you need to grow and you need to take notes and you need to develop yourself. And you can't be distracted by the things around you because you're growing. God is planting something in you. He's molding something in you. He's shaping something in you because he knows where he's taking you to. And in order for you to be successful where he's taking you to, you need to get it right now. And, and that is the kind of God that we serve. He is going to discipline us because he loves us so much that he does not want us to squander our blessing. All right, that is it for today. Hope y'all have an amazing day. Um, if this is hitting home, please don't hesitate to subscribe, to share, to let people know about what is going on on this YouTube channel. We have the ability to change our community and impact our world, even if we cannot impact the entire world. I hope that makes sense. All right, guys, don't forget, it's very possible to be saved and successful. Have a good one. Bye.